<laughs> it's one thing we should never laugh at, like grandmas, man. I mean, of course. <laughs> grandmas and puppies, like the two. <laughs> grandmas and puppies. <laughs> so when we left when we last left off, Ray was in a pit of lava trying not to fall. There was a dinosaur made out of robot parts and sparkles. Uh-huh. I mean, that's all I had. And then <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's literally all I had. <laughs> Gotta There's go. the best third person voice ever. Where am I going? What is it? What the? Uh oh. They're the? climbing a rock. Uh oh, rings. A lot of them, actually. You could potentially get a one up if you don't completely screw this up. <laughs> Two seconds later. <laughs> Gay. Yes. Let's do this. Fishes. You're swimming with them. Wow. Under the sea. Under the sea. You missed that completely. Shut up. <laughs> Under the sea. Under the sea. Something, something. Huh. I have questions about this level. What's your question about the level? So, there's that planet over there to your right? Uh huh. That is just like busted. Uh -huh. What is this? <laughs> That's my question. This is what happens. You let the Russians win. <laughs> That's relevant. <laughs> oh wow, I didn't know how you were gonna get that. And I didn't think you were gonna do it. Huh. I believe. I believe. I mean, the lead of losing lead of losing lead. Have you ever watched Girl Magdalene? Nope. <laughs> I, some, for some reason, I need to answer that question before I ask. <laughs> Isn't that the one with. Uh, oh! Oh god, I thought you were about to fall off. Me too. Is that the one with uh, the drills that pierce the yeah, heavens? Yeah, the and, drills that pierce the heavens. And then the one, the one woman with the uh, the awesome sniper rifle yeah. or whatever, but she has the fire bra and yes, and things. That's that's very long. Uh, What's it about? Uh, I don't even know. People who have spent their whole lives living in caves, they actually went to the surface and they're like, "This isn't so bad," and then it's bad. Oh. <laughs> So they went from caves to Earth and wanted to drill the heavens. Yeah. I mean, you spent your whole life on the ground. You gonna wanna go as far as you can. You're almost there, man. Thanks. You're doing it. You're doing the thing. Oh. Oh. Well. I didn't know they took so many rings. Almost said coins. I hate you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> well, we should uh, continue. What you said you wouldn't use? I haven't. I haven't got a game over yet. I have three continues. We'll see. We mean, we'll see. We'll final see. boss is actually probably the easiest final boss I've seen in a Sonic game in a long time. Really? The, the only easier final boss than the one that's in this game is the one that's in um, uh, uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Once, he has a very easy gimmick, and once you figure out the gimmick, it's a very easy boss battle. Well, they could have changed it. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna lie, they changed that Metal Sonic fight. That was completely different. I was not ready for that. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. You did that. <laughs> Thanks, Damien. You're welcome. She had 20 fingers. Like, I don't understand where I'm supposed to go. Um, I don't think you're even supposed to be there. Huh. 
<laughs> your whole purpose is to self-destruct. If you happen to screw up, you just failed your whole life's mission. Yes? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hmm. I mean... I mean what? Who do you... <laughs> Who do you think is a better um, robot scientist, Dr. Robotnik or Dr. Wily? Is this comment question of the day? It can't be. Um, well, keep in mind they both actually had a contest because there's a whole arc between Mega Man and Sonic. The thing is, is that Dr. Wily made all of the robots with the help of Dr. Big Bucket Light. Light before he was evil. So, like, he literally had, like, help. Dr. Robotnik is just Dr. Robotnik. Facts. <laughs> He's like, eh, I've been here. It's always been huh? just me. <laughs> by myself. <laughs> <laughs> me, by myself. No Chaos Emeralds. Sometimes. But they get taken and things happen. <laughs> by myself. So, what are you trying to do? I'm a little confused. I saw that ring, and I was trying to go. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh. So, there's a long ring that's been trying to get to me. <laughs> so, I just let me love you. <laughs> Looks like that one bad X. Oh, I got some trivia. With the trivia? Or this. Well. For this game, if we get to it, uh huh. Two hundred. Nice. I'm about to lose it all. Risk it. <laughs> you don't practice. I, I really didn't. I was like, God, it was suck if I just lost it. All these rings that I just got. Well, you have about 0.5 percent of what you um, have. But the boss, the final boss of this um, of this area of the lava reef zone. Is one of the hardcore heavies, and it's actually a homage to a guy who died in the uh, Sonic mod community. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man. And he made a mod called, uh, because you'll see in a minute. Is this him? No, this is just a souped up version of the mid boss from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh. Well. Can you get hit by those spikies that come down? Can I get hit? Yeah. Yes. Jeez. Oh, oh my god. I'm sorry, I was focusing. Uh, well, but, um... I'm lucky. The guy, the final boss of this area is one of the hardcore heavies, and he rides on one of those scooter beetles yeah. from the first game. And that's an homage to the. Uh... Oh, great. That's an homage <laughs> to the modern guy who died. I forgot his name. But um, he made he's famous in the Sonic community because he made a mod where you played a whole entire first game as one of the little Sonic the little Beatles. Yeah. So they're like, yeah, they didn't remember some him. That's really cool. I think his name is Jimmy because that's the name of the little motorbike. That's awesome, though. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine playing the game as one of those like little Beatles. It's actually quite funny. I would have been upset. Ouch. Sure, so what we do Zelda Month? Are we gonna do uh, Sonic 2 or are we gonna finish our yeah. playthroughs of. Uh, did I say Zelda Sonic? Two? I meant Zelda 2, yeah. Finish your playthrough of Zelda 1? Yeah. I don't know, it depends. Do you wanna be Zelda 1? Yeah. If you wanna be Zelda 1, yeah. You can do it. It's... We're gonna have to go through the ringer, though. What do you mean? Um, we'll have some cuts, man. Some cuts? Mm -hmm. We gotta stop spending so much time on uh, the same level. Side, side quest, the same level? Mm -hmm. uh, gotcha. Well, you can do it. I believe in you. Oh my god, I don't believe in myself! So you're getting a call from the 336 number. Pause. Sorry, guys. <laughs>
<laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Dang. <It's real. laughs> One of these boxes will sometimes be a one off. You should try hitting the one with Dr. Robot. Oh, there it's it like, is! That's the one up. It's gone. Goodbye. So long, my friend. Will we ever meet again? Memories falls in the coldest winter. Is that one of the songs that you don't like? Did you say? Jesus Christ, it is. <laughs> I had a feeling it was. I was just like, do you really like that song? Who even sings that? Kanye West! It's like the 808 um, Heartbreak album. That's the one I listen to the least, actually. Yes. Well, the one I actually listen to the least is Jesus. I do not like that freaking set out album. Well, I mean, does anybody actually listen to it? Or do yes. you just like. A lot of people actually like Jesus. <sighs> God, why? It's not even. Good. Facts? The thing is, is like, when I was listening to uh, early morning radio when I was uh, a taxi driver, I would listen to like, you know, they would review rap albums and they would say, yeah, it's all, it's all the same caliber as Jesus. I'm like, I can't tell if you're being facetious or telling me this album's really bad, or if you're telling me this album's really good. <laughs> like, I just can't tell. I need you to be honest with yourself and with me. <laughs> exactly. And that's why I was just like, I guess I'll just start listening to albums and seeing if they're good. Because <laughs> I can't take anybody seriously anymore. Which, I mean, people like what they like, I guess, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what it comes down to. I like what I like. Uh, uh, uh. Those are only Beatles I listen to. You get it? Black Beatles? Get out my face. What? <laughs> Black Beatles. And we're catching Weedle. Woo! Can't wait for Pokemon to come out, man. Me too. I can't, I don't still don't know what version I'm getting. It almost doesn't even matter to me. It almost doesn't even matter. <laughs> I'm gonna get Pikachu. Okay. Well, I'm getting Pikachu. Yeah. Depends on what my sister gets. If both of you get Pikachu, then I'll just have your Eevee. Ugh. Stop melting! Is that the old lady from that one? Oh no, from that movie? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what was that movie called? I literally tried to reference that the other day and nobody knew what I was talking about. I couldn't remember the name um, of the movie. Dante's Feet? Yes! Thank you. You have helped me. I only know that because I didn't know it either and freaking out. Oh! The first time we watched that scene, you laughed at me. Oh, immediately. <laughs> <laughs> That's evil. If, yeah. people, if people don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about, and this isn't a spoiler because this is an old movie from like, oh, the nineties. Is it from the nineties or the eighties? I'm pretty sure it's either late eighties or early nineties. Early nineties. But um, there's basically a bunch of like nat natural disasters happening, and a volcano erupted, and there's just a bunch of crazy stuff happening. <laughs> and so they decide, oh, let's cross through this lake to escape the lava. The lava heats up the freaking water and starts melting the boat. No, it turned to acid. Oh, it turned to, oh yeah, it did turn to acid. The sulfur it? got into it and it turned the whole um, lake to acid, basically. So the grandma had to freaking uh, push the boat. <laughs> it ain't funny, because it's, it's a noble sacrifice, but it's just the scene, and she's just like, ah, ah, Stop! so evil! It's one thing we should never laugh at, like grandmas, man. I mean, of course. <laughs> grandmas and puppies are like the two. <laughs> grandmas and puppies. So let me tell you something. There is a notable difference with the background of this stage because that's the death egg, but it looks way better. 
Yeah, everything in this game looks really good. Like, it has a lot more detail. Mm -hmm. And we haven't even got a bomb it. I'm going to Hidden Pal Zone. Oh, Hidden Pal Zone? Pal Zone. Hidden Palace. Power Zone? Wait, what? I'm just messing with you. No. What? Just. That. Whoa! Oh, is this the guy? Mm hmm. That's cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Ouch. Hit boxes. Hey. Hey, I'm on a beetle! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you're getting bodies, bruh! Don't let him do it again. Let him do it again. I like the Death Star in the back. It's Death Egg, I know. Um. So, oh, okay. Gotta get rings. So can we can? Okay. Got it. Dude, this actually might be. <laughs> this boss actually might be kind of hard. <laughs> Kinda? <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm oh, sorry, I don't mean to choke. Um, but. I didn't expect this. I thought this would be like a gag boss. No. There's nothing funny about this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was all the big gang boss was like, yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> um, Jesus. How many times you have to... I don't know how many times I gotta hit this man. Does that happen every time you get hit by the lava? Like, yeah! No, it's every time he does the, the trick jump at the top. Jesus! Oh, my God. That's... <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. It was. Come question of the freaking day. What? <laughs> Come question of the day. Why is he holding his tongue out like he's Cardi B? <laughs> Did you see that? H hold on. He's holding his tongue out. He's like, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Here we are, metallic effing madness. <laughs> Comment question of the day. And please give us, uh, if you're able to, are you able to post pictures on comments on YouTube? Uh, picture comments? I don't think so. Aww. What's your favorite card to be me? Because this new card to be me is I don't think it's URL either. Really? That's lame. Uh, you can always quote your favorite Cardi B meme. I'm talking about the ones that my mama said you. <laughs> my mama told you to get off the TV. Uh, my mama told me not to. What? <laughs> I think my favorite is probably. <laughs> I can't say it because it's not PG 13, but it's funny. Is it the. She said. <laughs> my mama said you gotta get one of the plastic cups because you leave your mouth on dingling. <laughs> <laughs> that is. <laughs> Hilarious! I can see one of my nieces saying that. Oh my god! <laughs> I think some of the favorite ones are the Walmart ones, where it's just like, "Oh, we got you on camera, sir." <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I forgot this happened. Jeez. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh what? Oh. I don't know why I'm playing this because as soon as. You need to go to work. You want to turn this off, and then I mean I have save data, but I don't keep any of my lives or my continues. I mean, true. Anyway, we got in the episode right here, guys. But in the meantime, between time, y'all stay sexy and sweet dreams. Hit it.